First, we want to hear from Lydia Vasquez, who is live outside of the Hillsborough County Courthouse with how organizations on both sides of this issue are reacting to today's ruling. Lydia. Yeah, so the reversal of Roe v. Wade paves the way for states to have more control over reproductive rights. And here in downtown Tampa and really the Bay Area, people on both sides of the issue tell me they're overwhelmed with emotions. The decision to overturn the landmark decision that's been in place since 1973 comes nearly a month after the leak of a draft opinion, indicating the court was preparing to make this decision. Today, the Supreme Court upheld the abortion restrictions in Mississippi, and Justice Samuel Alito saying Roe was on a collision course with the Constitution the day it was decided. Pro-life supporters tell me today is an exciting day, but more work needs to be done. I would love to see one day we get to a point where abortion is unthinkable. Uh, forget, forget laws and, and those types of things, but I would like to see it where it is unthinkable because it is a life issue and it is about life growing in the womb. On the other side, pro-choice supporters took to downtown Tampa to say that the reversal of Roe v. Wade is inhumane. This court has failed us. This court has failed us. It has taken away the power to control our bodies, our lives, and our futures. And we believe everybody's body is theirs and theirs alone. We must have the freedom and the power to control our bodies and our lives. It is a fundamental human right. 13 states currently have so-called trigger bans in place. Without the protection of Roe v. Wade, dozens of states are expected to ban or severely restrict abortions. For now, in Florida, a bill to ban abortions after 15 weeks, after the current ban of 24 weeks, will take effect July 1st. We're live in Tampa. Lydia Vasquez, ABC Action News.